Hey, it's Maritza with another Dreams to Reality video. And this morning when I woke up, I had no idea what I was going to do today's video on. And one of the things that I love to do is ask my people what they want, what they need. And so this is a great thing for any business person to do. Survey your people. So that's what I did a few days ago with something called SurveyMonkey.com. There is a free version and a paid version of this, SurveyMonkey.com. And I sent out a survey a few days ago and here is my first question. What is the single biggest thing you believe that keeps you from reaching your dreams and goals quickly? And I was surprised, well, I guess I wasn't that surprised, but most of it is about fear and not believing in yourself and just a lot of fear <laughs> is in the responses that I got. So I wanted to address getting out of your comfort zone and one of the things that has really helped me, I went through a lot of fear after I was getting an unexpected divorce. I went through a lot of fear. I started having serious panic attacks. That's when I discovered my cocooning process. And I really went inside to figure out what I wanted. And I knew at the center of my being, at the core of my being, that I did not want to become one of the living dead. And I found a number today that 27 million Americans take antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications. This is ridiculous. I remember when I was having my panic attacks, I went to the doctor and they wanted me on this kind of stuff. And, you know, I just wasn't going to live that way. I was not going to live that way. So the thing is, it's funny because when you want to get over fear and self-doubt, the only way to do that is to move outside of your comfort zone, to stretch your comfort zone. There is a quote by Les Brown that says, if you put yourself in a position where you have to stretch outside your comfort zone, then you're forced to expand. You're forced to expand. There's also another quote that I love from Peter McWilliams that says, comfort zones are most often expanded through discomfort. So this is something that I try to challenge myself with often very often do things that are uncomfortable. This video series is an example of me stretching out of my comfort zone, forcing myself to do a video every weekday for a whole month. And now since I have been pushing myself in different ways, I'm going to show you a little slideshow of the different things that I push myself to do. I ride stallions horses that are kind of feisty and while I was going through my panic attacks I had such a difficult time riding and the horses would take advantage of me because they felt my fear because they felt my fear but continuing on and stretching myself and doing those things that scared me allow me to now be able to ride and sing here's me with one of my horses singing in one of my shows and not only that, doing things that are really out of, you know, the comfort zone of somebody who had been having panic attacks, sing in public, sing in public. Also, I've done things like a century bike ride and I ran a marathon, which would have been, you know, unheard of traveling all over the place to places that some people think are scary, like the Middle East. Um, doing things like skydiving in Peru, speaking, public speaking. Why am I able to do these now? Because I took daily baby steps to stretch myself out of my comfort zone and I modeled people who I wanted to be like. I read books about them. I found out about them. One of my heroes is Oprah. I really focused on how she came from such a difficult background and lo and behold, she interviewed me. So in the self-empowerment formula, there's something that says, 
I realize the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves. Focus on somebody who has a similar background or has gone through challenges and they are doing what you want to do. Look at what they've done. Use some modeling and see what their attitude is. So public speaking and not only that, right here in this photo, I'm doing my own workshops at the Hacienda. Believe me, the first time I did this, I was very, very uncomfortable, but it allowed me to do something bigger than I thought that I could. I had a lot of success stories from it. Those success stories gave me the fuel to keep getting out of my comfort zone. And even not only in business, not only in the fun things that I do, but also getting out of my comfort zone in my personal life and giving you know, that a chance as well. After, you know, many times after people get divorced, they say never again, and they become bitter and dwell on that. I was like that for a little while. But then I said, you know what, it was a gift what happened, because if that wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have really gone inside to find out what I wanted out of life, instead of what society expected from me. And now because I did I've done the work, I am able to to attract somebody into my life. Now I feel like I have it all. So today I would love for you to push yourself out of your comfort zone in some way. Push yourself past the fear because when you do that, you're able to have a larger comfort zone and it will be easier to turn your dreams into reality.